Hey everybody, Justin Seeley here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I have a very awesome tutorial for you inside of Adobe Illustrator. We're going to be learning how to create this effect on your text. It's a really awesome effect and it's super duper easy. So without further ado, let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, here we are inside of Adobe Illustrator, and this is the finished product that we're going to be creating. As you can see, it's a really interesting line of text here, and uh, the best part about this is, of course, that this is live editable text. So anytime I want, I can come in here, double click, and I can change this to anything I want. And uh, I misspelled my own name there. Let's go back and fix that. There we go. And you could save this as a graphic style, and you can then apply this to any text you want later on. It's a great little effect. So. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we can recreate this. So I'll switch over here. I got a blank artboard ready to go. I'll press the letter T on my keyboard and then I'm going up here to the typefaces and I'm going to select Metropolis. This is one of my favorite typefaces and uh, if you don't have it, go ahead and find it online somewhere or you can use any really thick blocky text that you want. I'll hit black as the style and then we'll change this to about 150 points right there. Now, I want to make sure that my rulers are set to pixels, so just right click the ruler and then I'll just click anywhere on the screen and type out the word comic and then center that up. First things first, let's remove the fill, so make sure that you have the fill targeted over here in your appearance area and then we'll just press the backslash key on the keyboard to remove it. Then inside of the appearance panel here, what we're going to do is we're going to add three fills and two strokes. So one, two, three fills, and it adds a stroke automatically at the top, so I'll just add one more. So now I've got two strokes, three fills, and we're ready to get started. So first things first, what I want you to do is select the top fill and change that to yellow, like so. Skip up here to the top stroke, change its color to white, and increase the size of it to four points. The second stroke, change that to a reddish or orange color and increase its size to four points. Now with that stroke still selected, go down to the FX icon at the bottom of the appearance panel, select distort and transform, transform. Turn preview on, and then in the move section, horizontal and vertical, what I want you to do here is type in 0.1 for both. Now this could be a little too big or a little too small in terms of the offset. It's up to you to decide. Now just increase the number of copies. In this case, I think 70 works well. You can see now we've created that sort of depth shadow for us. And I'll hit OK. Now target the second fill color, drag it on top of the first, change that to a gradient fill, the standard white to black gradient. Then I want you to grab the gradient tool by pressing the letter G on your keyboard and then you're going to click, hold down shift and drag down until the gradient looks like that, white to black. Now with that fill still selected, what we'll do is go down to the effects icon again, hit pixelate and choose color halftone. And in the color halftone dialog box, I want the max radius set to 12. You're going to have to play around with this depending on the size of your document and the size of your text to get the exact effect that you're going for. In this case, I'll hit OK. That applies that halftone dot pattern that you saw in the other document. And then I'll select this fill again, open it up, click on the word opacity, change the opacity to color burn and then lower the opacity to something like 30 percent and that gives us that nice sort of gradient color halftone effect where it starts off thin at the top and goes thick to the bottom now the last step in creating this is to go to the bottom fill the black fill we'll target that go down to FX go to distort and transform and select transform again same settings as before type preview and do 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and then the number of copies, you're going to have to extend this out quite a bit past the original orange text that you did. So in this case, 200 I think works well, maybe even a little bit more, maybe 220 for this one. Hit OK. Now here's the issue with this. It does not line up with the edge 
of the M or any of these. So I have to make a change to this in order to make that happen. Here's what you do. Select that black fill one more time. Go to FX. Go down to Path and select Offset Path. Then we'll click on Preview. Notice when I do that, it creates this big gigantic border around the outside. I'll back this down. And generally when I get down around, say, 2 pixels, it gets pretty close. But I might need to increase this to like 2.1 or something like that. And when it gets lined up like that is there, you're pretty much done. So hit OK. And then last, twirl this open, change the opacity to about 25%. And there we go. So let's zoom back out. There is our finished product, our comic book text, and it is completely editable. So anytime I want, I can change this up. I can save it as a graphic style, instantly apply it anywhere I want. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something too. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to drop them down in the comments section here, or you can find me on Twitter, at Justin Seeley, or Facebook.com slash Real Justin Seeley, or you can go to Instagram.com slash The Justin Seeley. Again, thanks for watching this Illustrator tutorial. I'll see you again real soon.